let's think about four membered rings, such as cyclobutane. Here it's depicted in a planar arrangement. It's basically flat. We have eclipsing interactions and therefore significant torsional strain. But the molecule can move and puckers itself to reduce some of this torsional strain. Carbon 4 is raised upwards, whilst carbon 1, 2, and 3 remain in about the same position. If we view the molecule from carbon 1 looking down the carbon 1 to carbon 2 bond, and imagine that in a Newman projection form, we have carbon 4 being raised up by about 25 degrees compared to the plane created by carbons 1, 2, and 3. No longer do we have eclipsing interactions, but equally they're not staggered yet, so we do still have a little torsional strain. In fact, when we compare cyclobutane to cyclopropane, cyclobutane has less angular strain, but more torsional strain, because now with cyclobutane we have eight hydrogen carbon interactions whereas with cyclopropane, there were only six hydrogen carbon interactions. Overall, the amount of strain in cyclopropane and cyclobutane are about the same, but cyclobutane does have a little bit more strain than cyclopropane.